What's going on guys? Today we have a very complex keyboard lighting design for you. This keyboard lighting design actually came from my wife. She asked me if I could make a rainbow pattern that kind of spins and I was like, oh yeah. That's easy, it's just a wheel effect, a rainbow wheel effect. And I slapped that on there and she goes, oh no, 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 no. She's like, I want it to have like a fan blade effect. So like kind of choppy where it switches in and out, in and out, in and out. It took her about a half hour to describe to me what it was that she was trying to get. Which is really strange because as guys, we always understand exactly what women are trying to say. But once I finally understood what she was trying to achieve out of this lighting design, I went to work. If you want to learn a little something about Razer Synapse 3 and you want to know how I made this effect, stick around and watch the video. I promise you're going to learn something. If you're one of those Razer keyboard owners that just don't have enough time or you're a little bit lazy when it comes to uh, creating your own keyboard lighting, there will be a Dropbox link in the description below. So let's show you guys how to create this design. We're going to get right into it. This is Wheel of Fortune. All right, guys, here we go. Wheel of Fortune effect. So as I said before, this is a very complex design. It takes many layers. In fact, the first rendition I made of this design had 87 effect layers. And I'm not gonna do that to you guys. I don't wanna put that kind of file on your guys' computer. So I've condensed it down to a manageable level. I believe there will be somewhere between 12 and 20 layers uh, when I'm done with this. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and rename my profile and I'm going to rename it to capital W, lowercase o, capital F, just for Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change my initial effect layer to a wave. And I'm going to copy all my keys and hit the delete key and hit save. This just starts us out with a blank slate. So, <clears throat> so if you look at the design, what I basically have going on in each of the layers as they go around is they're turning on and off, on and off, switching between different colors. And to get that effect to happen, you basically have to go one layer at a time, this layer, this layer, this layer, all at the up direction. What this allows it to do is basically turn keys on and off, on and off. I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm just gonna start with these keys right here from the, as far left as you can go to your space bar. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my color gradient dropdown. I'm gonna choose a multi-pattern actually cancel that I'm gonna choose the five node pattern the reason I'm choosing five nodes is because right here smack dab in the middle it gives me a node that's exactly in the middle of my gradient bar and I can utilize this to add depth and more colors to my wave layer and I'll show you what I mean by that um, so I'm not gonna move this middle node at all Click on the node to the right of it, and you can turn this one invisible and tuck that in real close to that. And you can delete the far right node here. So what this gives us is exactly half of our gradient color bar. This allows us to add more colors and one entire wave effect layer. So the color pattern for a wave only allows you to have seven nodes and to have as many colors as I have going on, I believe I have six colors, to have that many colors going on, you have to color snap. So what that means is it's an immediate transition. So you pull these in real tight and close to each other. Now the colors are snapping from one color to the next. If you have six colors going on, uh, you're not gonna be able to do this with the amount of nodes that are provided for you. And what we're going to do is we're going to have six colors total, three colors on this gradient. So 
I have red on the left. I'm going to put in my yellow and I'm going to hit the plus sign to duplicate that one. Hit the plus sign again and I'm going to make green here and I'm going to snap that close. You want these to be pretty close to even here. So go to the final node here and hit green. So here you can see we have three colors. They're all about basically the same width and they're snapping together. So uh, when I angle this up at zero degrees, you can see my keys now, they switch instantly from one color to the next to the next. And this is exactly what you want to create that fan blade effect or choppy effect between colors. Now to get in all six colors, what you have to do is you have to right click on your effect layer and duplicate it. And uh, our initial wave, I'm actually gonna rename this to wave one A and I'm gonna click save. And my new layer, I'm gonna save that as wave one B. So we're staying with the same keys. We're just gonna add the second half of our gradient color. So with wave one B, I'm gonna use these same exact keys that I used in the first wave, but on my color gradient, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change this middle node to the next color in line. So this will be blue. And I'm gonna take this node that's to the left of it, I'm gonna bring that over close to it and make it invisible. Delete all the nodes to the left of this invisible node. And this begins our second half of our color gradient. So once I've done this, I'm gonna delete this one out real quick. I'm just gonna click on this and I'm gonna add one. It's gonna duplicate it. And I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit closer. And I'm going to add one more, change that to my next color, duplicate that one, add a new one. And we're gonna change this one to our last color here. So I'm gonna just pull these in a little bit to give room for the, for the purple there, or pink. So now you can see this is the last three colors of my complete uh, wave gradient. So um, everything else can stay the same and I'll hit save. And now as you can see, looking at the keys, it cycles through all six colors fairly evenly depending on how you space out your nodes. So this initial bottom line of wave layers is the easiest one to start with. So now that I've explained this a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a picture. I'm gonna put that up on the screen right now. It's gonna show zones of the keyboard of where these colors are going to eventually be. So as you can see from looking at the picture, there's 11 zones total, but really there's only about six different colored zones. And what I'm gonna do right here is I'm just gonna skip to the third zone right here, this giant blue one. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can get all those keys to light up blue at the exact same time. Because it's kind of difficult. You have to have a wave effect layer for each horizontal row that is in that color. Okay, so this blue section starts from the bottom to the top. It starts at BN, and I've already copied that other pattern, so I'm just going to paste that in there. It's just the second half of that first one. So obviously with my wave going up at a zero degree angle, I can't just highlight the keys that I want to light up and call it good because they won't be in sync with each other. So if I were to hold control and select all the keys that I have designated for this. So if I were to paste that design in there, obviously you can see they're not in sync. So what you have to do with, as you go up, the more horizontal rows you have in each section, you have to add an effect layer for each one. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete these ones out right here. I'm gonna hit save. So this first wave I have is gonna represent my bottom row. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna add a new wave layer. In this wave layer, I'm just gonna go to my next row. So I have G through A and I'm gonna paste it in there. So now you can see it's perfectly in sync with the one right underneath it. Same thing, I'm gonna create a new wave layer click on this new wave layer and I'm going to highlight the keys that I want to change and paste in your code. Once again, 
new wave layer on this new wave layer do the same thing paste it in there now you can see they're all in sync with each other one more wave layer I'm gonna highlight my last row and paste it so now you can see this is how I get the sections to match the colors exactly so for this section because it takes five horizontal layers I have to have five effect layers for this specific section and you actually have to double that to get the first part of your gradient color so if I go into this if I go back into my bottom row here and I click on wave a and I copy this one the first half of my gradient so I go back to my first wave here and you're gonna want to right click and duplicate that layer so that duplicates it up here at the top so this will be my wave B and this is gonna have these selected right here I'm just gonna overwrite these and paste in that first half of my gradient and hit save so just like I did with the second half of my color gradient I have to go back in now with the first half of my color gradient and create five more layers so here I've already done the first one so copy the effect that you have on your key and go ahead and create a new wave layer go into that new wave layer and select your next row here and paste it just like that now you just keep doing that create a new wave layer go to the next row paste it new wave layer next row paste it new wave layer next row paste it to transition to the next section what you have to do you don't have to create any more effect layers what you can do is just go into your very bottom layer you can take this code you can copy that you can paste it into the very bottom key on your next section right here just like that and what you got to do is click on your color gradient click on this blue and you're gonna just go down the line that you're making the line of colors that you're making so the next color in line here is blue so I make my light blue section dark blue I make my dark blue section uh, pink and I make my pink section red and it just starts that color cycle over again that all looks good I'm going to hit save so now this section should transition into the following one so I'm gonna copy that code go into my next layer choose the keys I want paste it just like that right now there's a bug out where if you copy a code um, and you paste it into another one even though you don't have this key selected it changes it so what you have to do is you have to go back into that initial wave layer copy and repaste back over it so I'm gonna go back into my second wave here I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna copy that and we're just gonna keep going up the line here choose your next row of keys paste next paste next paste so to finish this section do the same thing go to wave B you're gonna copy this right here and you're gonna paste that right into there just like that I'm gonna try and not get that glitch to work and I'm gonna click off and then click back on that key and then I'm gonna change it and see if this might change it might break the uh, the barrier here green and you're and we're just going straight down the line these are my next row of colors I'm kinda of skipping orange I have every color in here except orange I'm just kinda of skipping orange and that looks good I'm gonna hit save so it looks like it did work by clicking off and clicking back on there <clears throat> so that's kind of neat so I'm gonna copy this go into my next wave layer up paste 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 so you can hit save there so now you can see here's two sections simultaneously and they <clears throat> So 
So now you can see there's two sections here side by side and they And this section and this second section that we built here actually follows up on the first section. So whatever you see in the first section, it's immediately going to this next section. So you see when we'll wash the red here, it'll go red, 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 red. And it does that with every color. So you got pink, pink, pink. So you see that follows all the way around. So you do that with each section going all the way around the keyboard until you're all the way done. All right guys, so I've kind of finished my first half almost of this design. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fast forward and I'm gonna finish out my keyboard. You guys kind of see how I got these four sections. You just keep doing the same thing all the way around your keyboard. Right here is the picture that shows you all the dis different sections. Go ahead and take a screenshot of this if you're trying to make your own or change the colors up a little bit. These are the zones I used. I'm gonna fill this in real quick and I'll be right back. So if you follow that lighting procedure that I showed you all the way across your keyboard, you should have a design that looks just like this. It kind of spins in a half pinwheel and you have somewhat of a wheel of fortune effect going on your keyboard. If you have a razor mouse, then this is what you need to do to add the effect to your mouse. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start a new group and you're gonna name this group mouse and go ahead and add four wave layers. Four, and our first layer we are going to name logo A. Second layer is going to be logo B. Third layer is going to be scroll A. And fourth layer is going to be scroll B. So you can add all of these new layers into your new group just like this. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and open up that grouping. Now, what I want is my logo to be in sync with this row, and I want my scroll to be in sync with this row right here. So for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to bottom row A, and I'm gonna copy this line of code over here, and then I'm gonna scroll up to my mouse group and do logo A and paste it into my logo. Same thing with bottom row B, copy this code over here, go into mouse logo B and paste it, hit save. So that's the logo. I'm gonna go to my second row A, copy that line of code there, go into mouse scroll A, paste that. Same thing with B, second row, B, I'm gonna copy it, mouse scroll, B, and I'm gonna paste it, and hit save. And that's all there is to it, guys. Piece of cake. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys learned something from it. Make sure you go to my Twitter and my Instagram and follow me on those social medias. I always put up teasers at least a day before I actually release the video how to on it. So make sure you go to those platforms and start following me on those. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.